Hello, my name is Glenn Corder and I'm delighted to be part of this year's Disruptive Innovation Festival. I work at the Sustainable Minerals Institute at the University of Queensland, here in Brisbane, Australia. At SMI, we research the challenges facing the mining and minerals industry, now and into the future. This film you're about to see comes from a massive open online course, or MOOC, that we developed called The Future of Mining. In this MOOC, we explore the risks, challenges and opportunities facing the mining industry over the next few decades. One such challenge is the management of the various and large volumes of waste generated by the industry. We believe that the circular economy can play an important part in both helping to reduce and also creating value from mining waste. We outline how using some examples in this short animated film. The downstream and service industries have been more engaged with the circular economy than the mining industry. The mining sector is still represented by linear rather than circular activities through its supply of resources to society. Waste is a critical issue along the whole metals value chain, making the mining sector one of the world's largest waste generators. From mining waste to end-of-life products such as scrap steel and demolition waste, or the growing problem of electronic waste. Each waste stream has its own set of environmental issues. For example, the concerns around using mine tailings in dams differ from those of electronic waste. The circular economy provides the mining and metals industry assistance perspective on waste elimination, rethinking and redesigning the processes along the value chain and between supply networks promotes opportunities to create value and reduce environmental liability. One way to encourage the uptake of the circular economy is by introducing new innovative business models that optimise the way companies generate and capture economic value and in doing so take a positive step towards sustainable development. Initiatives adhering to the ideas of the circular economy already exist in various industries. A major information technology company introduced a recycling program to reuse printer cartridges. This is known as closed loop recycling, which retains material for multiple cycles of use. A similar approach could be used in mining for waste lubricant and the refurbishment of equipment. A multinational shoe manufacturer recycles used shoes in a process called downcycling. The recycled material is of lower value but is still useful as rubber for playgrounds. This diverts the end-of-life waste from landfill. In the mining sector, mining waste can be used for backfilling as a soil additive and for road construction. Some more commonly known recycling programs are implementing what's known as upcycling. Waste materials are used to create higher value products. One company in Australia has a program that used recycled plastics to make furniture. Applying upcycling in mining can see the recovery of byproducts from waste and the rehabilitation of abandoned mines. A major clothing and shoe manufacturer makes use of a recycling process called industrial symbiosis. This is where different industries share or exchange waste, byproducts, services, or utilities. They take and convert old tires into material to make shoes. In the mining sector, alternative raw materials for cement production could be sourced from mining waste or byproducts. Many companies offer collection services of old or used products, which are then forwarded to the appropriate recycling facilities. A small private US company has collection programs for hard to recycle materials, and an international coffee company has its coffee capsule recycling program. This can be applied in the mining sector through the collection of old tyres used by mining vehicles. These examples illustrate that greater levels of technical and business innovation are key characteristics of successful circular initiatives, ultimately helping to boost participation in the emerging circular economy.